in his mind. Do you think Dr. Chow was out of line for asking if Malia was on birth control? Is he looking out for his friend or do you think that he believed Malia could be a gold digger? Okay, so while they were outside there and they were just kind of like going back and forth talking and before he walked away, he's like, hey, is she on birth control? And Chan was like, to be honest, I don't know. And he was like, how do you not know the woman that you're sleeping with is on birth control? And he's like, because I'm not sleeping with her. And he's like, mm, you must really care about her. And the sheets, right? So then Chan was kind of like, kind of, you really my business. You know what I mean? But um, again, I, they're friends. How like friendly they are. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you have friends. So y'all just go there with each other. You know what I mean? Like with Kyrie Alicia, they can ask me anything and they know they're going to get whatever answer. And they're going to be like, God, that was honest and crazy and strange and probably a little too, uh, probably a little too real. Maybe you should have taken it down a little bit, right? Because they had access to me. Everybody doesn't have access, like, access to you like that. So even if, you know, you know somebody I'm not sure if you're going to just be giving them, you know, the, the, the keys to ask whatever they want to ask because it, it's not their business. So I'm not sure, like, how close they are to the point where he felt like he could even ask that question. Because I'm sure Tan ain't asking him questions. Like, Are you using a condom every time you're with your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Stay out of my business. I, I think I got this together. The man's 32 years old. He, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. So I think it was out of line. However, if they are closer friends, then that would be considered uh, normal. Because I definitely asked my girl, I'd be like, okay, uh, you, so, so, so you, you got something going on? You got a little eye sis? You got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know because we're supposed to be doing some girl stuff. <laughs> I don't need nobody else getting pregnant. Okay. I think my girls would say, baby free, you hit them streets. And not in like a bad way. When people hear you say, hit the street, they always think you want to do something evil. I just want to go somewhere and chill with my girls on the beach and, and drink alcohol. And and I'm talking about somewhere tropical. I ain't talking about going down here to the Columbia River. Like, that's okay. But that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Bora Bora, baby. I'm talking about, you know, Montego Bay. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe you want to say? Yeah, heck yeah, I felt like he was out of line, you know, but then again, like he said, you know, if, if they're friends like that, then, you know, okay, you know, because I know, uh, I think Karina's probably the only person that could ask me that, and my mom, I guess, you know, and, and, and she still ain't gonna ask me because I'm grown, but, <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, yeah. But I know Karina, she just worried about uh, us not being able to go nowhere, like she said. <laughs> Because you know I'm going to protect myself. Uh, very very uh, selfish. I know. It's very, very selfish. But I'm definitely worried about us not being able to go nowhere. All right. Especially uh, since I happen to be pretty fertile. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, got things locked down. I don't have to worry about that no more. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Let me see this question. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, looking out for his friend and you know he he wants to make sure she's not gold digging i don't think he he even believed uh chan when he said that he wasn't paying for her life you know he's like oh okay you're just saying that in front of her but you know so absolutely because we see that all the time and i'm sure they do too you know they come from this um from this uh mafia that's not the word a triad same difference but um you know this family where they're making loads of money of course, they see that they get that a lot, you know, women coming in trying to um, seal the deal. Uh, what's that other saying now? The bag? Um, uh, get in the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I, I think he's looking out for his friend all the way around, you know, so. see our question says when the delivery man showed up at malia's door with flowers who did you think they were from were you shocked by who sent them um let me go back to the very first time i read that part <laughs> we've read this so many times um 
I think I may have kind of thought they were from Chris. I think that was my first thought. Um, until I was like, oh shoot, you know, he didn't made it, he didn't made it up the elevator to the door some kind of way. Um, so I think that was my first initial thought. And then when I found out that they were from uh Mr. Mike, brother Mike, uh I was oof. I, I was not surprised at all. I, I knew he was gonna rear his ugly head sooner or later, so I think um one of the things that what we do in Rose City is that we don't try to like beat a horse. Um, so people pop up on you. Things that you read, chapters, you know, previously, that you're not really focused on that because your attention is somewhere else. Then we kind of like sneak in little things and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So like things kind of sneak up on you. So definitely I believe that, you know, anybody who read that, I don't think anybody was expecting um, Mike to have sent the flowers because at this point, Chris has shown up at her um, in her parking garage with flowers and broke a vase and ran and screamed and was punched in the air. Um, Chris has also shown up at the graduation when Malia dropped her sash and went back to look for it with Eva and had to run across the parking lot to get away from Mr. Crazy because he went crazy and started, you know, stomping on the chocolates when she was like, sir. Please stop buying me stuff. Please stop showing up. Just like, leave me alone. Like, I'm not trying to be mean. And he's like, Rrr! so he lost it, you know, and they had to run and floor, you know, floor in the car and just take off. So at this point, it's safe to assume that it was definitely Chris. Like, okay, because he already knows where she lives. So I, I definitely don't think that it would be wrong to assume that it was Mike. Was it okay? No, because Mike is just not, it's not listening. He's not listening at all. Like, I don't know what we have to do. Do we have to cuss you out in English and Spanish? Like, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out, like, what do you need to really make it settle? Like, what do you need to really get it in your spirit? What do you need to get it in the corazón? Like, what do you need to do to let it go? I want to know, like, what do we have to do? Because the note that he wrote, you know, congratulations, baby. Like, when? And we got big plans. We got to talk about our future. And I'm just like... It's a little bit odd to me that if we haven't been speaking for you to just assume that trying to take me out to Fogo to Chow is going to, is she a foodie? The girl likes to eat, but that's just not going to do it. You know, um, Thomas, I'm sorry. I couldn't be there at your graduation, but if we was talking, you would be like, no, just, you would figure out a way to make your schedule work. Baby, you are a DA or assistant DA. You're not working on the weekends prosecuting cases. You're off on Saturday, I believe. So if you're off on Saturday, like, where were you at? I mean, you could be like, well, I was preparing a brief for, for Monday, but you should have been at that graduation on Saturday if you was her guy, but you're not, you know? You're not. So I don't think that it was wrong for anybody to assume that it was Chris sending that because Chris has been doing a lot lately, a lot. So that's my answer. Why do you think Chan seemed upset by Mike sending Malia those flowers in a car? Question mark. He didn't even want them in the trash outside to the dumpster. Is Chan more control? Is Chan's more control side starting to come out in settle unsettling ways? Yes, or settle ways. Settle ways. Yes, I would go backward and say yes. Chan's controlling side is starting to come in um, subtle ways, the fact that, okay, she didn't want the flowers, okay? So when she was talking, well, who sent it to you? And she said, Mike, he was like, Mike, like he was visibly upset by the idea that Mike was sending her something. So she was like, I'm just away in the trash. And he was like, you can't have this in this trash. Like, and this needs to go to the dumpster. And I was wondering, I'm like, what do you think that she's gonna do the trash? Later on that night, walk through her house in her nighty and just, be carried away by the wind and open up the trash can and say, Michael, we could have had something if you had left me for Bianca. I mean, what do you think that somebody's going to do when they put something in the trash? You think that they're going to get up in the middle of the night? Because like, that's something that my husband would have definitely done. He'd be like, mm -mm. you have no other man sending you nothing up in this house. Like, he would definitely would have been like, it's got to go to the trash. He might have even jumped in the car and, and taken it to an apartment complex somewhere just to put it in a real dumpster. Like, 
I, but I, I wonder, I, we had a male perspective here on this. So I just wanted to ask that question, like what would make somebody be that outraged? Like I can't have spirit in my house. Like it's not good from the spirit. I feel like I have a spirit on them flowers. I don't give a the flowers, the card and chocolate. Um, I don't want his spirit in this house. If he's a girl, then maybe some sci-fi mess. If you send somebody a gift and their spirit was in there, like, <laughs> okay. A pile of dirty laundry need to be. Washed. I think he thought you was in Jesus' name. He was really kind of like wilding out that um, he did seem very upset, and he revealed to Malia that who is. This is like guys talking to you at the bar. Yeah, that was him. But Chan never has brought up the fact that hey, he got at the bar and I wasn't really liking what he. Who was? That? Like he's never brought it up. He's been quiet so all the time. Like in this moment, he's upset. Now he's bringing it up. It was a little bit on the strange side. I think Malia is looking like, oh God, like what's happening? So yeah, I do think that his controlling side is starting to come out in subtle ways that are very unsettling to me. Um, but he's controlling anyway. I mean, he's already, you know, got her being watched. Uh, he, you know, made her take on a whole security detail, um, you know, at some point because she's good. he's got to, you know, keep her safe from uh, oh crazy. So yeah, I, I definitely do think his controlling side is starting to, that out a little bit, you think? Now, I'll tell you why he didn't want the, that box of roses in the house because he knows how he is. So he's probably thinking, what if Mike put a camera in here <laughs> or put something in here to keep watch on her? And so I, I feel like that's where his mind went to because the level of you, you can't even love in the yeah, you can't even throw it in the trash. And then, I mean, he threw it in the trash and then that when he left later. But it was just like, oh, no, right now. Uh-uh, get them out of here now. You know, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I wonder if his little insecurity was showing because he knows what he's been up to, you know. And what's that thing you uh, that you um, you told me? Or it's like, you know, people, when they're like suspicious of somebody else is usually because they are doing something or probably the same thing that they're yeah, that concerned projection. that somebody else is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that projection. So I feel like we've really seen that, you know, in this scene um, with the way he lost it. And yeah, we are, we already know chance controlling. Um, and I'm glad little things are starting to slip in front of Malia so she can pick up on it too and reevaluate if she really wants to be in this relationship, even though she has no choice. We know that, but you know, she can try to speak up for herself. <laughs> I love how you were like, you know, it, it gives you the vision of power when you're really powerless against this man, you know, like speak up a little bit. It's not going to do anything, but at least you feel like you tried a little bit, you know, like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I definitely feel like, I don't know, again, maybe something. I guess even with women, if uh, if somebody's ex happened to send them a door, some food, you know, will be like, that food is right now. It'll be like, throw it away. Like, well, I mean, it said it came from Stacy. I ain't seen her in like six months. A woman will be like, throw Stacy's sandwich from just Mike's in the trash. Like, you ain't eating that. And, you know, it's, it seems kind of like controlling, but I do feel like. People feel that if you keep something around that somebody gave you, it's like you're entertaining them still. Even if you're like, that's, <laughs> uh, that's a gift, uh, you know? So I, I feel like he thought, if she fights me to keep this in this house, then what does that mean? Like, is she not over Mike? Um, is she going to put it in the trash while, you know, I'm here and then dig it out later on when, like I said, walking through the house since two o'clock in the morning, I can't sleep. And I just... Ben, if you hadn't treated me like crap, nobody's going to do that. Um, I was looking for a card, and then I found one, and it's actually a Curie's card, see? <laughs> so it's like, I was like, you know, it's just, um, read the word that Mike gave her. And 
touching each letter and knowing that he put no thought into it. You know, like, nobody's doing all that. When women shut the door and you, you the door is shut. A lot of people feel like you buy it back open with gifts or with kind words. When somebody's done with you, you could you could send them a million dollars and they might cash the check, but you're still going into the trash. Most definitely.